everyone. So welcome back to the channel. It's uh, It's been quite a while since we put a video up. You know, stuff happens, life gets busy, and all of a sudden it's been a year, and I realized it's time to start making some more videos. So we got a good one today. This is our 1952 Alice Chalmers CA. Um, it belonged to my grandfather, and then it got passed down to my dad. And about 20, 20 years ago or so, um, my dad restored this tractor, went through it, painted it, the hood was pretty dented up, fixed a lot of that stuff, went through the engine, and it was a really good tractor for just running around on the farm doing little odds and ends jobs, and uh, the engine has these little oil lines that can plug up pretty easily, and one of those plugged up, and the engine got ran without oil going to the top of it so we ended up having to have the engine rebuilt got that done a couple weeks ago put the engine in it's running good but it's still still spits and sputters a little bit even when it's warmed up so we got a tune-up kit we're gonna put that into it and then when my grandpa had this tractor it also had a, an original front end loader the pieces are back here, we'll look at those in a minute, but we got that all painted up, so hopefully today we're going to put this tune-up kit in here, we're going to get that loader on, and we're going to take it out and see how it rides, so stay tuned. So, this whole tractor thing has been like a, going to be a four-part project. The first part was getting the engine back in the tractor, getting that running. Second part is getting that loader put on. This is the third part, we bought this wide front end that we're going to, go through needs new bearings and everything we're going to paint that up put it on figured with a loader on there it'll give it more stability and then part four is this belly mower that we bought so that we can mow our field across the street and we think all the pieces are here but it's all got to be gone through hopefully get painted up so videos on that will be coming later so we got the tractor pulled out just in front of the shop here so there's a little more light so we can see everything a little bit better. I'm just gonna let it run for a few minutes and warm up. Dad's project of the day is he's uh, gonna try his hand at sawing his own lumber. We've got a, uh, if you've seen some of our older videos, this old manure spreader that we use for hauling wood, the bottom rotted out of it, and we need some new boards. We got all these nice straight logs that we pulled from back in the woods there across that culvert. So he's gonna see if he can saw some of them up, make us some nice one inch boards for our wood wagon. Yeah, 
got a little, little tab right there. Mm -hmm. It's got to be on it. The high part of this is high and low and high and low. Yep. So it's got to be on the high part. Got to turn the crank just a little bit to get it. Good. are some of the 
different pieces for the, the front end loader that we're gonna hopefully get put on here by the end of the day. So we've got our two hydraulic cylinders here, which we went through those, polished the cylinders up, painted everything, those should be good to go. Everything up here is uh, brackets that came off of the, the actual frame of the loader itself that uh, mount the spring release for the bucket and uh, all the bolts that attach the, the bucket to the loader. That is the bucket, which was in pretty rough shape. It's been sitting outside for quite a while, gave it a good coat of paint. Everything's cleaned up good. Those are the uh, subframe pieces for the loader. So they actually mount right up here, these two bolts under the fenders. They mount on the back and then that open hole right up there on the front is where they mount and then the hydraulic cylinders actually mount down in there the loader arms mount on the top and that's kind of what gives it the whole support system to hold the loader onto the tractor and then we got a fresh fresh hydraulic hose hook up to those cylinders so everything on that end should be good to go and uh, we'll go take a look at the loader frame quick all right so this is the actual loader frame itself. I think this turned out pretty good once you put some paint on it. All this, this whole loader was all together in one piece, but it had been just sitting out in our fence row probably about 20 years ever since my dad brought the tractor home. Just never had time to get around to getting it back into usable condition, so I kind of finally thought, you know, now as good a time as any, so we got that all painted up. And uh, this is the part of that spring release for that bucket. So there's a bunch of brackets and stuff that sit on here. And then there's a cable. There's a handle that mounts up here and a cable that runs down, goes through this pulley, and then down, and it'll come over and hook onto this. So when you're, there's no hydraulic release for the bucket to raise and dump it. So when you scoop up something, if you want to dump it, you'd pull that lever up there that pulls the cable back down here and it essentially releases what's holding the bucket that mechanism lets the bucket drop and then there will be a spring it's a garage door spring basically which hooks to here on the loader and then it'll have another point where it hooks onto the bucket and that spring once your bucket dumps that spring will pull it back up once it's empty and then it'll latch back into place with that mechanism there so we got to put all that stuff together yet but everything's painted up paint's been drying for a week so since it's been pretty cold we've just let everything sit and uh, should be good and dry now so we'll start putting stuff together here shortly all right so we're gonna start putting this uh, subframe piece on All right, so that's uh, both pieces of subframe on. So the next part to go on will be the main loader frame itself, which is still hanging in the shop. But before we bring that out here and put it on, we're gonna put all those brackets on for the bucket release. We'll build those in the shop 
and then we'll carry it out here and put it all on. So that's where we're headed next. Alright, so that about does it for everything on here. We'll have to do some touch-up paint back here where these new bolts kind of scuff the paint up all the way getting everything set but so basically this bracket here is what will attach to the bucket or the blade we have the blade also and that will control the height and the cutting angle of the bucket so that will attach up to a bracket on the back of the bucket that you can set and adjust your height and then this bracket here has a loop where a cable that cable will run up to the lever to release the bucket so when you pull on it this comes up and this pin pulls in and it will release the bucket so we'll go out and uh, get the hydraulic cylinders all tightened up ready to go and then it'll be time to put the loader on all right so i've got the hydraulic cylinders sitting in there they're all put together and ready to go so hopefully we're going to roll the loader out, stick it on here, see how it works. Which pins are these? Uh, these to be those yeah, those round ones that they're, they're all kind of mishmashed.
right, guys. Well, that's going to about do it. It's been a, a long day. And here, Dad's still out there trying to make his uh, lumber board. He's not done with that yet, but uh, we did it. We got the loader on. Ended up, uh, we had the snow pusher on there for a little bit, but without tire chains, it just wasn't really worth having it on there, and it wasn't painted, so maybe we throw the bucket on so it looked nice. And a uh, couple things left to do yet. Uh, this cross support piece, this is the original one. Um, the one end was broken off, so we welded a, a bolt on there so we could get a nut on the outside of it. But uh, before we keep this on here, we'll... Uh, grind it down paint it up make it look nice and then there is also room for one on the bottom going across there which we may put on but I'm not sure yet because we're hoping that we can fit that uh, that belly mower on here with the loader at the same time but I'm not sure if there's enough space for everything to work out that way so that'll be for down the road and then also um, got this this is the bucket release handle we didn't get a chance to put that on yet, but we're going to have to cut this this bolt wooden unthread, so we're going to cut that bolt off, put that on there, and then that cable will run from that down here through this uh, pulley, and then down to our release lever right here, and when you pull that up, that drops that pin out of that bucket and lets your bucket dump, and then we've got a garage door spring that will get mounted up, you can see a piece of the old one there, but that spring will go from there up to here so that when you dump your bucket the spring will kind of flop it back up so just a couple odds and ends yet to do but yeah I was really happy with everything the loader worked great hadn't been used in probably 20 years um, hydraulic cylinders they just got a little a little bit of a leak but I mean we didn't replace the seals in those all we did with those was we got new hoses for them and uh, painted them so I'm really quite surprised that there's not really hardly any leaks at all on this loader. And uh, yeah, everything worked great. So stay tuned. There'll be uh, more videos coming up. We got to get uh, that wide front end all painted up and uh, repaired. Need some new wheel bearings and that. And then uh, we'll probably end up having to take this loader off to get that front end on there. But we'll do that and then start digging into that mower. Hopefully we can get that working before uh, we get too far into springs. We've got a field we want to kind of keep mowed down with it, but we'll see. These things, you can never tell how long they're going to take, but glad to have this part done, so thanks everyone for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.